Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my process of drawing letters in Adobe Illustrator. I know a load of you find this quite tricky and quite frustrating, but hopefully these basic techniques I use all the time will help you to get better quicker and get over that frustration barrier. So first up, we want to have our sketch. Um, I've taken the letters E and A because they just come up more frequent than any other letters. Also, a little piece of advice is that the better you can make your sketch off um, the computer, the more refined you can get it, the easier it is when you get onto the computer because all you're doing on the computer is just literally tracing over these letters. And so the better the curves are, the easier your curve, easier it's gonna to get to get to make those curves smooth. So um, the next thing I do, once I've got, I'm happy with my sketch, I go around and I plot the points on my sketch. And we do that by finding the stream of each of the curves. So wherever the wherever the line changes direction on the vertical or the horizontal. So uh, let's take this side down here. We just roughly sketch a line down here. And where that intersects with that line, that's going to be one of our points. We're going to put in way too many than we need, but it's just so we've got them there as reference. So the bottom of this E, I'm going to roughly draw a line where this line change, changes direction. Plot another point. At the top there's another point and the same on the A everywhere we can find a change of direction of that curve uh, obviously that's a change of direction there so there's going to be a point there another one there obviously there on the end of the, the thing on the bottom there be one there I may take that one out because I'll probably where well, we've got one at the top here probably use the curve from that from the handle from there and there to smooth out that curve so there's a change there so one there and there obviously we have a couple of points there where that, we, I always try and make the letter as a whole letter rather than join these two together we're gonna have one there but I'll show you a technique of what I use to go to make those internal corners another bottom here there'd be a couple of here Okay, oh, there'd be one just here. So there we have our points. Um, they're all ready to go. So we, what we can do is when we go on the computer, we can just plot out the points and then start uh, refining those curves. So what you want to do now is get your um, mobile or a scanner and take a photo of that and then take it onto the computer, open up Illustrator, and then we go from there. Okay, we're in Illustrator. We've placed our image in there if you need to know how to place an image. Go to File, um, Place, uh, we put the orange image in there, and what we want to do is, we're in the layer, Layers palette, double click on our layers, we want to dim our images to about 50%, um, and we want to lock it so we don't move around, so okay that. Add another layer, and this is the layer we're going to be working on. So we want to grab our pen tool, P, or click on the icon. And we don't want to fill at the moment. We just want to have, um, just choose a bright color. I normally choose like orange or um, pink, magenta, and up the stroke a bit. And now what we're going to do is start plotting these points. Um, you can, if you want, put lines in to guide you to make sure they, um, if your, your sketch is, uh, like the E and the A are both level with each other, then you might want to put some guides in. But if you've got, um, uh, if you have smart guides, it will do that for you anyway. So, so what we're going to do now is just roughly go around and put all these points in. So I normally start here, um, work left to right. And I re really rough, and I put in all the points at first. Don't worry about being neat. We do that in a minute. Close the path off, and then same with the A. And then we start at the top. Work my round around. So this is, uh, as I was saying, when I was doing over the sketch, is with these points. I don't just put a point there. I put actually two points in. So all you want to do is you want to put one point past it and one point before it, and then come down to the bottom, and then it makes a 
it makes it easier to control that corner pit there. So I'm literally just cl clicking and dragging to create these, um, create the handles and then back to the beginning again. And now what we can do is start refining these. So I'm just going to make these a bit bigger so it's easier to see. If you want to, you can um, add a fill and then in your uh, transparency uh, panel, bring the transparency down so you can see through. That might be a more helpful option to you. And so let's start with the E. And so what we're going to do now is just start um, grab grab the end of the handle which have got the direct, direct selection tool and we're going to move start moving that around what I normally do is have my finger hovering over the uh, shift key on my keyboard so when you press it it goes to uh, uh, 45 45 degree increments but we want mainly want to look at the horizontal and we want to look at the vertical so for uh, that one we were going on the horizontal and this one down here actually we don't need because the less points you can get away with it's easier to make these curves smooth so I've selected that one with the direct selection tool and then we're going to go up to remove selected anchor point at the top and then we're just going to pull out we normally work in pairs the sort of it's normally um, the handle of one side with an opposing handle of the other point rather than working those two handles as a pair so we're just going to try and follow that line until we got it close as possible and then we go on and move on to the next thing so here we're just going to move that line so it follows that and we go down here move that so that curve holding on the shift key so that line just about runs on top of that we uh, are not going to use that one, so it's another one we're going to delete because we're going to use these two we've got here. Horizontal, make sure that's straight, and then we're going to just keep tweaking it back and forth until we get get it on that line. That one we're not going to use, so get rid of that. We're going to use this one down here. Move that into the right position. Same with that one. It's just a series of tweaking, tweaking these um, handles. So that's another point we're going to get rid of. And holding that shift key, their ID down. Are you done? We'll bring that in a bit. Now to the A, bring that out. I'm going to delete that um, point there because we can use the top and bottom to give us a nice smooth curve. And if you've got um, smart guides on, you can actually take that point and it will snap to that. So when you're happy with that, you can get the points to snap to there and make it smooth going down here, smooth connection. We're going to get rid of that one like we did with the E inside because we're going to use these two points to smooth out that curve. Here we're just going to position it the right way. Not going to actually make it horizontal or vertical with this one. Might make it on a 45 though. And just tweak that so we've got this like small curve. This one we're going to keep on the vertical one just down a little bit but make this one work so it brings that smooth around there these ones actually I might not actually hold the shift key down and just because it's an end point I sometimes just have it at a round angle it's just these main ones here like smooth out and with this we just want to position that in so that curve comes through crosses where we want it to go just makes it easier if we wanted to adjust that at all. So 
this one again some 90 percent of the handles are either horizontal or vertically but sometimes i choose to use some that are not and there you go pretty happy with that so now we bring up the transparency just to check There we go, and then what we can do is just you know, try and match away, just tweaking it, what we think's right. Also, if you want to line up points, you can select with direct selection tool and then use the bottom alliance. That one's at the bottom, actually, one or three to line up. And there we go, and it's just a series of tweaking. You know, if it's not working right, you just keep tweaking those until it's on that curve. And as I said, the better you can make your illustration, your sketch at the beginning, the easier it is. You just all you do is like a blueprint when you bring it onto the into Illustrator, just to trace over, um, and that will help you to get better curves. There you go, guys. That's a little intro into my process. I'll probably do another video with a more advanced uh, Illustrator techniques. But if you've got any questions, then please do leave them in the comment section below. I'll try and answer all of them. Uh, otherwise, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with anyone who might find this useful. And I'll see you in the next video.